when it is installed in, in, in Old South, it will become the oldest Revere Bell in Boston. It was cast only a few blocks from Old South Meeting House. And when installed, it will be the, it will be the voice of a tower clock that has been silent for 140 years. It has not had a, a, anything to strike uh, for all that time, and, and it will be come September, October, when this is, is, is raised, uh, it will become uh, Paul Revere's voice heard once again in the streets of Boston. So my part here is basically a small part for the church and for Old South Meeting House, was to properly disassemble the Paul Revere bell and its existing cradle. It will be moved to Old South, reassembled in the museum, and at some point in the fall, uh, it will be disassembled and moved into the belfry where it will be reassembled once again and uh, operational. The bell, the clock, they're very connected. They're both very um, much a part of the fabric of the city of Boston back in the day when people didn't have cell phones, they didn't have wristwatches. The way that the community came together was that they would hear the bell, ring for either the hour or ring for an event or as a warning. A bell rang out from Old South Meeting House when people gathered here for the Boston Tea Party meetings, the, the series of meetings that led to what we call today the Boston Tea Party. Well, the bell is in the truck, and the bell is going to be loaded off the truck, taken through the main hall, and downstairs where we'll go on exhibit for about two months. Uh, while the while the work up in the tower is is prepared uh, to receive it, and then sometime in September or October, uh, depending upon when all that's done, uh, the bell will have a crane here, and the bell will be elevated with all due pomp and circumstance. Right now, during the summer and leading up through the fall of 2011. For a very limited time, the Paul Revere Bell is on exhibit here at the Old South Meeting House, and people can actually see it. And once it's installed, you'll be able to hear it. We're encouraging people to come visit while they can to see the bell up close, and uh, then to absolutely come to Boston and come to Old South Meeting House to hear this Paul Revere bell ringing out from the Tower of Old South Meeting House, and you'll get a little sense of what it was like to be here in colonial Boston, when this would have been how you told time. This would have been what people heard on their way to market, on their way to revolutionary meetings, on their way to Meeting House, as they went about their daily lives. Today is a wonderful day because we are finally getting a bell for the Old South Meeting House again. And what's really exciting is this is an American-made bell. This is not just any old bell that is being installed in the clock and in this glorious tower of the Old South Meeting House. It's a Paul Revere bell forged and cast at the Paul Revere foundry in 1801. The clock is, is dated 1766. It is still hand wound, uh, runs a week on a winding, but it has lost its voice. Today we're gonna to have the rising of the bell to the tower, and 276,000 people a daily will hear that bell go off. That's very special. That's what Boston is. Boston's historic city, and I think it's so important because we're the most historic city in the country. The bells and the clocks at Old South Meeting House have had a community role from the very beginning. When the Old South Meeting House was built in 1729, they wanted to make sure there was a bell there. Bells were very important. They helped people tell time. They gathered people for meetings like the meeting that led to the Boston Tea Party. This bell up in this tower was used by this congregation for a long time. It was rung to ward off evil spirits back in the colonial times when they thought that things, fires, thunderstorms, and other things were things that required the public to know about. 
bringing a Paul Revere Bell, which is part of a two centuries ago, to a building which is part of Massachusetts as much as Boston, uh, is just a resounding success um, for the future. To join Paul Revere and the Old South Meeting House and the great democratic traditions that they finally represent is a very significant moment in the life of the city and actually of the country.